Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you how to use the match function of Microsoft Excel. Well, we are not talking about a rugby match. We are talking about uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, this this match function is such a powerful function that you'll be amazed by what it can do. Far more powerful than VLOOKUP could ever even imagine to be. Okay, um, let, let me not brag about it and let me show you what it can do. All right. So here's a list of names. Uh, these are Justin, Mithilesh, Penke, Dhirvendra, Varsha, Praveen, Vijendra, Pankaj. All right. And here is the array from which I want to find their relative position. All right. So yes, match function returns the relative position. Uh, we'll start the... A formula by typing is equal to M-A-T-C-H and it says returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specific value in a specific order. All right, that's too much gyan. So match lookup value. This is my lookup value. Comma. Now what is highlighted? Lookup array. Lookup array is nothing but a contiguous uh, selection of cells from where you want to return the relative value now comma match type is highlighted so since we are working with text we have to give it exact match that is zero uh, one and minus one see here's the first difference uh, one or minus one usually in uh, in VLOOKUP you don't see minus one right uh, which is greater than so we only see zero or one which is approximate match or exact match. So in my later videos, I'll be teaching you how to use the minus one option also in match. So we'll type in zero and close parenthesis. Here's our answer. Justin is at one. See, relative position. Now I can even copy this formula across. And to copy this formula, we have to, we, what do we want Excel to do? That we want this position to be relative <coughs> so that when we copy the formula from left to right uh, as of now this is showing as cell e7 it should become f7 then g7 then h7 right however we do not want this range this array to move this this should be fixed this should not be relative right so what we need to do is we need to press f2 over here and select the array and press f4 now we have fixed it you see these symbols we have fixed it see we have fixed it so now it won't move uh only e7 the first the lookup value would be relative the lookup array is now fixed we do a control c and control v and now what happened here see pinks pinky pinky is on relative value three however she's also on the last she's also at the end of the series but why did this not show up because this is a repeat value uh, uh match function would go racing down the array or racing across the array and would find the first position and return it to you it will not bother whether it is there again or not all right and then comes this guy pankaj now pankaj is na uh, <laughs> why because pankaj is not in the list at all that's why well that was one example of match now i'll show you a very beautiful feature of match uh, see we we did just we just did match uh, from we uh, from we look, looked up this value from this vertical stack right now what if this was in a horizontal stack in a row so let's put it in a row we select it and we paste it here and we do right click se this is called a transpose function i have taught this extensively in a, my in one of my videos called transpose i'll do it uh, using the mouse also now uh, right click paste special and click transpose by the way i have made a, a video a exclusive video a comprehensive video on paste special also where i have taught all these examples so we click on ok and we have transposed it now i'll do another match see match would not bother whether 
whether the lookup array is a vertical stack or a horizontal stack. We just now saw an example of vertical stack. Now, now let's see an example of the horizontal stack. Is equal to match lookup value is this comma what is highlighted now lookup array so this is my lookup array now uh, since i'm aware that i would be copying this formula to these cells also i can fix it even right now i will simply press f4 right here comma exact match yes i want an exact match zero parenthesis close and voila enter here you go see now we can copy the formula across we got the same results ah sorry so we got the same results what does it mean that match will simply find the relative position it will go looking down the array and the array can be horizontal or vertical either which way all right but it has to be a contiguous row a continuous row well this Excel file that you're looking at in this video is available for free download at my website myelesson.org. So you can go over there and download the file for free and practice along or work along or use it later. Oh. And until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning. Don't forget to share the video.